Yo, welcome to K-Pop RC, the channel where I make sick videos of scale models. Pretty much anything that's got a remote. So, don't forget to sub up for giveaways and sick ass RC content. Sometimes there's fire. And it. Wait, what? There we go. These oh, jet boats, man. These jet boats. God damn. You know K-pop and his goddamn jet boats. So oh, that's K-pop. Raskin. <laughs> I'm always on the quest to find them the best RC jet boat, because like really no companies make them. And uh, I had to go all the way to South Africa for this little bad boy. This is uh, from Propolis RC. This is his jet boat he vacuum forms. I'll leave a link in the description below. I think it was around 100, 100 US dollars around, somewhere around there, which is actually a bargain, considering that uh, toy tear into that was converted hobby grade. That thing probably costs around the same amount. And, you know, you're starting off with a, you know, much better platform, much more space. Whatever plastic was used for vacuum forming is like three times as thick. You know, that pumper's got a copper tube. You oil the tube. It's, it's awesome, man. This is me installing the steampunk inspired cooling system I've had a motor melt on me before in a jet boat and it wasn't pretty so now I usually just water cool them all cuz why, why the hell not plus it looks sick as hell now looks sweet Let me know in the comments below if you guys trust these auto bailers. Let me know if they ever sunk one of your boats. Music's going to get tense. This is so intense. Like, you can see the water already kind of coming in. Overall impressions with the boat is pretty sweet, man. It's actually, for the money, it's an incredible. You can't really get a better hull, uh, jet boat hull and jet prop for that kind of money. And, you know, it's like supporting a mom and pop company, which is super cool. Um, I do think that I just need to understand these things a little bit better. Like, I don't know exactly where the weight is supposed to be in the hull to keep the to keep the pumper from sucking air. I don't know if there's like a max RPM also that maybe maybe that, that prop spins so fast that it uh, pulls air, you know, loose air out of the water um, and creates like an air pocket and then, uh, you know, it revs to the moon uh, with no propulsion. So like there's some like issues that I gotta iron out um, but probably not due to any of the d design of the boat. It's just more about me not really knowing what I'm doing. So, I don't know. In the comments below, let me know uh, what the optimal weight distribution is for one of these, if you know. And, uh, and give me some pointers on setup. Sweet!
That's it for this episode of K-Pop RC. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. And uh, stay tuned. We got 5,000 more subscribers and I give away the Adam LZ Drift Project. More cool shit on the way from K-Pop RC. <laughs> oh, 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 no.